Hello and welcome to another Spawn Creation Tips and Tricks video. In this video series, I will demonstrate and explain various techniques used in creating or answer questions that you may have. And keep in mind these are all of my own opinion and that Spawn is diverse enough that you may come up with your own techniques. If you wish to see the rest of the series, check the playlist in the upper right hand corner or at the end of the video. For today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the swimming animation trick. Now, be warned, this one is a very tricky trick to pull off due to the fact that it relies on a very specific glitch. So it may take a couple of tries and I do recommend you pay close attention. So first things first, this trick is better done in Vanilla Spore without any mods enabled for two reasons. First of all, you do not want to have the infinite scaling mod as that will interfere with the process. Very hard to describe, but trust me on this. And you do not want to have dark injections because dark injections allows you to move things through the floor. And that is a very critical thing with this and once again will interfere with the process. After this demonstration, I will show you guys the modded variant. So with that out of the way, another thing that you do want to consider is the fact that when you do this trick, you cannot scale or modify the size of your spine. Whenever you do this trick, you need to make sure that your spine is the way you want it to be. Like I said, this is a very, very tricky glitch to do as very easy to accidentally reset. Now, as for the trick itself, very simply, what you want to have is, let's just make whatever design of the spine you want. In this case, I'm going to go for something like this. Maybe it can be like some kind of strange uh, bent aquatic creature. It doesn't really matter. Point being, this is now the spine. I'm going to move this part of the spine, the lowest part of the spine, to as close down to the floor as I possibly can. This is why you don't want dark injections. Normally you can move the creation past the floor. We don't want this, we just want it on the floor. Next up, grab any limb. Doesn't really matter what limb it is. Pull off any hands or feet it may have and you want something like this. Now, you want to have the base of the limb at the very, very tip of the spine, as close to, you know, as close to the tip as you possibly can. And you want to have this scaled as small as you can. The scale parts, you either scroll down the mouse scroll or you press the down key. For the other joints, it doesn't really matter just yet. Just this is the key thing here. So now that everything is as low down as it could possibly be, with this being as close to the tip as it can possibly be, now you want to go from having it to be the smallest scale to the largest scale possible. And now, as you can see, it actually pierces it through the floor. Grab either of the two joints to the left, doesn't matter which, and just move them up and you'll see that the entire thing just pops upwards. Now when you scale all the way down, it will actually disconnect. Now like I said, this is a very very tricky thing to perform, so sometimes it doesn't always work, but you can kind of see the effect here. Sometimes if it doesn't work immediately, like it did for me, you can move the tip of the spine slightly, and it will kind of disappear like that. But, like I said, don't forget this guys, if you try to scale the spine, it will snap back. And if you try to change the length of the spine, again, it will snap back. So make sure the spine is how you want it to be when it's done. You can, however, shift it around like this. You just cannot change the actual size or length. Now, when you have the floating leg like this, what you can do is either move it in certain ways to like kind of force it to reappear, or if it's invisible, what you can do is simply add another limb in the way and it will kind of like mesh it all together. So, now we've got it currently visible, just for, just for temporary. We can move these two joints here, and we can also add more on without it getting reattached, as you can see here. So, when it comes to the animations, there are two swimming animations you can get. Now, one of them requires having just a one limb like this. Now, if you have that one limb set up like that, let's go ahead and make it a lot taller. That way, the animation's more dramatic. The longer the legs, the more dramatic the animation. We'll have something like that. Now, it's currently invisible. And that will create a kind of bouncing up and down animation. This is good for mammalian swimming creatures like dolphins, like whales. It will give you that kind of animation. So as you can imagine, for a quick little demonstration, let's say we put a couple of these parts to the bottom of the uh, spine. Imagine some kind of tail. And now you can see the kind of effect it produces. Now, alternatively, let's say, again, for the sake of demonstration, we're going to make it have a bit more of a fishy or a bit more of a shark animation. And just to help emphasize the animation, we'll have these parts here. We're going to add the limbs back on, that way the limbs are now visible. And we're going to split it in half, that way it's now got two limbs. Now like I said, the longer the limb, the more dramatic the animation and the sway. So we're going to have it nice and long like that. We're going to have it really far apart to again make it really dramatic. Remove this limb, that way it's no longer, well, again, a little bit of adjusting and it will disappear 
<laughs> somewhat again like this is proof that it's very very glitchy but when you get it right that will sway left and right and that's how you can get more of a fishy sharky animation and that is how you do the swimming animation in Core Spore. Like I said, very, very tricky. If you need to rewind, do feel free. So like I said earlier, that trick is only doable in Core Spore. Now, if you want to do some modern Spore, don't worry, the alternative solution is much, much easier. When it comes to modern Spore, assuming you have dark injections, if you go to the final page of the limbs, or near final, in this case, page nine, you have all these limbs over here. Now, these will be the invisible limbs. Now, these, fortunately, are super duper simple. You want to go through the same process of, if it's going to be a mammalian swimmer, you want to have it one, uh, one simple limb down the center like this. And as always, if you want to know how to snap the parts, you just hold control. Alt to duplicate and control to snap back on. This will be a more mammalian thing, whereas we split it in half like this, this will be more of a fishy, sh sharky kind of thing. And like I said, that is the only process in modded, so fortunately modded is significantly easier. And that, guys, is quite simply it. I hope that was helpful and clear, and I hope you have fun making your own fishy creatures. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.